Alright, sorry for starting late tonight, guys. Uh, we are live. So take off your pants, crack open a beer ski, and give in to the grind. Tonight, we're going to be continuing Vi. Uh, we're in... We're after the final orb. Hey, Finny, how's it going tonight, dude? After the final orb... Um... I don't know if I... I should probably do some grinding. Oh, yeah. I forgot. Um, so, Logan actually sent me a map of this of this floor. Or of this dungeon. So, I don't have to wander aimlessly and take unnecessary extra damage. Um, I just gotta open it. I just gotta open uh, Facebook Messenger here. Sounds good, dude. Um, there it is. All right, where's the first, the first bit here? Excellent. All right, so I think, all right, let's head up here. Let me know, uh, let me know if anything fucky happens with the stream itself. Because I legit can't see it while I'm looking at this guide. All right, so top left, I believe I did last night. I think it's just an item, yeah. Oh, it was an item that wasn't really worth it. All right, we got some tough-ass golems. Flint golem. This ice sickle doesn't seem to do anything. Pretty much, like, nothing really does anything right now. Um... Damage wise. Oh, sleep doesn't even work on these guys. These guys are OP as fuck, dude. This game, like, doubles its difficulty every fucking encounter. Alright, um, but looking at the map, there's definitely some, uh, fuck. Looking at the map, there's definitely some new gear down here. So I am looking forward to getting that and not being completely fucking useless. That would be great. Alright, let's see if Lightning Bolt does any damage. There we go! Alright, we know how to beat these guys now. An Exit Stone, but they have Chaos. Alright, so let's, uh, this so far looks pretty straightforward. I'll, uh, I'll leave the map closed until I find something that, uh, like a fork in the path. Dude! God damn, I can't wait till you get, um,. So you get, I think he called them moonstones, where you can like actually, let's see what shock does. Yeah, that's definitely, you're saving MP doing that. You can buy uh, MP recovery items eventually. Alright, here we go. We're hitting, we're getting to them, uh, ye olde splits. So, it looks like there's absolutely nothing to the top, so let's go this way. Gargoyles! So what's cheaper? 15 times 2. Yeah, the other one's 40. So it's cheaper to go with this. MP is a fucking currency in this game, man. I mean, it is in most games. That's why I don't use magic. Because it's just like... I just don't like running out. Okay. Um. Ooh. That looks like a treasure chest. Boys! Alright. Oh, yeah, there it is. Haha. <laughs> Gotta get them maps. But yeah, PJ's gonna run out of magic like fucking immediately. Look at that though. It's such easy experience points. Hellborn Axe, please let Sandor equip that. And please let it be like actually good. Please. Okay. It's worse. Every item I get is fucking worse now. It's so shitty, dude. Uh This game. Up until, like, this very point. Uh, this game's been amazing. But literally this town. The, everything in this town has been garbage. And then even the items I found in this cave. Or the item I found in this cave is garbage. So I don't know. I don't really know what the game is expecting of me right now. 
Um, we got two more treasures here. Nice thing is, oh yeah, PJ's out of magic. Fuck. Nice thing is, is I do have um, like a lot of uh, healing items. But we're not going to be able to get very deep because we got uh, PJ running out of MP like nobody's business. Strange brew. Okay, we got a fuckload of gold at least. Alright, so since there's just one, let's just beat the shit out of them. It'll take like an hour, but... gained a level so does link have the uh or link sorry does he have oh yeah he has alakazam sweet alakazam is like the evac spell so we can get the fuck out of here whenever we want basically which will be pretty much immediately because um pj's running out of magic Dead, please. Thank you. Alright, she's got like one more shock spell left in her. Um, do we have any... So we come down through there. So let's get the uh, thing at the bottom. There's a treasure down here. We'll get this treasure because it's like quite a ways out of the way. Alakazam is your favorite. Is it actually? Finny the, Finny the guy that doesn't really know... <laughs> doesn't really know Pokemon? He's a legit Pokemon, especially if you're just playing Pokemon Red or Blue. Because, uh, in Generation 1, um, Psychic Pokemon, uh, because of uh, bad coding, they're, like, incredibly OP compared to others. Because, like, in the newer games, um, pretty much, I think, every generation after the first one, um... Yep, yep, he's a fully evolved Abra. Every generation after the first one, you have a special defense and a special attack uh, stat. But in, um, oh, that wasn't a gigantic waste of a turn. But in Gen 1, um, you just have a special stat. And so basically, they take, and the special stat is their special attack and special defense. And so basically, they end up being like, God have godly defense and godly attack. Because psychics don't use normal attacks, they only use special attacks. So they make them ridiculously OP. Yeah, I like, I, I like, I used to be a big Kadabra guy, but that was before I could like trade. I prefer like Haunter and Gengar, like the ghost. So the whole thing, uh, I think it's still like that though, is Ghost is super effective against Psychic, and Psychic is super effective against Ghost. So it was always like a drag race if you had a Ghost type to beat a Psychic and vice versa. And I would always go with Ghost. And nowadays, if you're going up against Psychic, it makes more sense to use Ghost. Because, um, please don't be shitty. Like literally everything I've got or purchased so far in this area has been absolute shit and it's shitty huh what do you know all right uh let's use alakazam yes but yeah now it makes sense to go with ghost because ghost has a, a move they have a, a move called sucker punch i think and, um, basically what it does is if an enemy is going to attack you, uh, Sucker Punch attacks them first, no matter what. So, you can get that bonus ghost-type move, um, before they can hit you, so you can almost always kill them before they can do anything to you. Make yourself at home! Shut the this is the shittiest town in the game. Possibly one of the shittiest towns 
in all of fucking JRPGs ever. I need to write. I need to write the name of that town down because eventually I'm gonna do top a top ten uh, JRPG uh, towns and a top ten shittiest JRPG towns. And definitely Marl will be in the top ten shittiest. Probably will make top five. <laughs> it's so useless, man. It's the worst. It's the worst. But yeah, up until this point, I I have been loving this game. So I can't be too hard on it. But this place has literally literally been speed bagging my balls since I got here. Alright, so Lynx is leveled up. Everybody else, uh, not so much. Um, but that's okay because... Oh yeah, also, I learned that if you use this, you can tell how close they are to leveling up. Which is great. So that means since, uh, PJ's close to leveling up, I'm gonna go... I'm gonna go pretty ham with her magic. Because she's gonna level up in like two turns. Or two, uh, two battles. So now we can go straight to the stairs. We don't have to worry about, uh, oops. We don't have to worry about, like, treasure and shit. But yeah, what are you up to, uh, what are you up to tonight, Finny? You sexy son of a bitch. Alright. Oh. Alright, you fuck. You flint golem fuck. Dead bitch. Everything, everything takes so much damage from magic. Hey, Batman. When are they ever going to give? I know. Uh, I hope so. I hope they do. I did. Like, we just lost Rachel not too long ago, but yeah, I would uh, like to have a fourth member again. That would be great. Sandra gained a level. PJ gained a level. Of course, I, I get like. Just a bunch of scrubby encounters. Instead of like four dudes that I could just have used like Malibu on or something. Or Bolt. Or like Storm or whatever. But whatever. But yeah, once I'm once I'm able to buy those fucking items that that uh restore your MP. This game is gonna be a cakewalk. I think. But yeah, so in case you missed uh, kind of the end of last stream, um, I'll get you caught up in the story. Basically, um, we went to this place. There was this, uh, they called her the Eternal uh, woman, Lady or some shit. And basically the Eternal, this Eternal Lady that they've, that is like legend was is actually turned out to be Sandor's wife. Um, or fiance, I can't remember if they got married at the beginning or if they were in the process of getting married at the beginning. But, um, and then, um, that, that dude with the feathered bangs, that bad guy prick with the feathered bangs shows up. Uh, basically, yeah, there was like a flashback or whatever. Like, we, uh, auto -ca cast a spell so we could see what happened. Um, and, uh, hold on, I gotta keep scrolling down here. And then, um, I know, Vector. So does the time change help? Or does the time change make it worse? Um, I guess let's go this way. Where the fuck are we, dude? Uh, what floor are we on? I think we're missing a floor here in the guide. Ye olde guide. Yeah, we have, we have basement three, and then it goes straight to five. But that's okay. Rune wristlet. So far, every item I found has been shit. So uh, we give it a try. But anyways, auto cast a spell um, so that we could see what happened in this place. And it turned out, yeah, the eternal lady was uh, was Sandor's uh, woman. Um, and then the bad guy with the feather bang showed up, and he was like, "I am here to get collect the stones, and I heard you know where uh, one is." And she was like, "I'm not telling you shit, bitch." And then he, uh, he was like, how about now? And it turned out, turns out, that fucking Feathered Bangs guy 
has the Vi armor. Or at least he did at that time. So, uh, the reason we're getting the, the orbs is because we want the Vi armor. But it turns out that prick already has it. Oh, I can't even use Rune Wristlet. Um, and then he, like, fucks her up. He goes to, like, kill her, and then she uses a teleport spell, but she uses it, um, with, before, like, saying the full prayer or whatever. So that's why she lost her memory when she appeared near, um, when she appeared near, uh, where, where Sandor lives. Alright, so if there's just one, let's just punch him to death. So yeah, we're looking for the final orb. Basically, is what's happening right now. Barrier stone? Don't know what that is. Alright. Do, 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 do. I love the way he walks. It's both cute and confident. I, uh, he totally looks like a... Uh, Oh, sorry, Vector. Um, yeah, I was just asking you. I, I kind of recapped what happened last stream, plot-wise. Um, and then I just asked, uh, does the time change help help you with being able to, to tune in? Or does it make it more difficult? Dead. Nope, never mind. Dead. Nope, never mind. God, these guys have such high defense. It's ridiculous. I was able to tune in now because you went to work early. Oh, well, you should just go to work early every Tuesday and uh, Thursday. Just do that. Just change your entire life, change your entire life around to you know, so that you can watch the stream. Obviously, it's not that hard. <laughs> okay, so there's a chest with a bunch of money over here. Yeah, that's fucking shitty, man. So, d it, do you live in, in the within the city that you work in, and traffic is just that bad, or do you have to like commute quite a ways? Lately, you've been taking a coworker home, so that's up to your return time. Oh, so you've got like a commute. I got gotcha. you. That makes sense. Yeah, just tell that coworker to uh, never get a car, um, and then you should be fine. Tell him instead. Hey, be like, hey, bud, I have an idea. Instead of buying or fixing uh, your broken car, uh, you should subscribe uh, to my good pal uh, Dookie Zero Three, and uh, you know. Uh, donate a whole bunch of things. Just do that. It's like win, win, win. Really. And then he'll sub to me and I'll just gift you a sub every time. <laughs> he's, he'll, he's basically just paying your sub. Yes! Alright, I think this is just money. I think this is literally just money. Yep! Okay, what else do we got in here? We've got runic armor that is potentially just as shitty as um, the runic shield is. But we'll get it anyways. Because it means we have to go all the way around the map twice. And if nothing else, we might as well grind. Because we're not going to be using any of Lynx's uh, magic. So we can cast Alakazam to get the fuck out of here whenever we want. Okay. Yeah, this is... I'm glad that Logan gave me that map for this. Because I think if he didn't, I'd be uh, fucked. Because this is a very spirally mazy place. Uh, excuse me. I'll see if I can post the map in the... 
let's see. I don't know if this will work, but uh, it might be too long. Let me know if that works. But that's how mazy this place is. So I can totally see why he. Because last night after my. Sh or uh, Sunday night after my stream, he was like, dude, um, you want me to uh, post the map? Or send you the map from my guidebook? And I was like, I don't know, man. I'm, I've been doing good so far. And he's like, no, 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 no. <laughs> you need to see this place. I was like, all right. Fuck yeah, dude. 2,500 gold or uh, experience points, though. That's some tap a tier -a shit. There we go. I mean, Lynx will probably level up right away. I should have probably been using his magic. But the problem is, um, is Alakazam costs a fuckload of money. Or a, a fuckload of MP to, uh, to cast. So if we had to escape, for whatever reason, we'd be fucked if I used his magic. I think what we'll do is we'll just, like, punch. If there's two of them, we'll kill one with magic and punch the other just so we can keep going deeper. Dead bitch. All right. So we want to go here. Like this armor is going to suck and it literally is going to, I have to go so far out of my way to get it. But that's okay. And then we're gonna save before we go up to this next floor. Because I don't know if this next floor is the final floor or not. <laughs> Love the fucking music in this game. Okay, so there's two treasures. There's holy shoes and runic armor. I think we all we've already had holy shoes. I don't think they really do much. But whatever, we'll get them. Get her all, boys. But yeah, Logan was saying I'm getting pretty close to the end of the game here. Um, depending on like whether I get stuck on bosses and stuff. So far, the uh, that wind elemental boss has been the hardest. Like, definitely the hardest. So that would be the ruin armor, but we can't. We gotta go all the way around here in order to get the the holy shoes first. Die, please. Thank you. So what are you guys what have you guys been playing lately? I gotta I gotta like start using my spare time to start playing some Yakuza or something. Cause I, I have to finish Cause I don't know when Yakuza 7's coming out. Ooh, Titanfall 2 on PS4. I have it because it was free for a bit, and I always wanted to play it, but I haven't actually had the time to sit down and play it at all. Like, I have it downloaded, and I haven't even touched it. Grinding out Dragon Quest VI's endgame? Like, post-game, or uh, you're fighting the final boss? Because that guy, uh, that's probably the hardest. I found him to be the hardest final boss. I can't remember his name, even. Mortimer, I think. But, yeah, I found him to be the hardest uh, Dragon Quest boss. Oops, I did not mean to do that, but whatever. So we'll kill him, and then we will... Uh, we'll use the lightning spell on the other guy. Yeah. I think it's Mortimer or something. But he was uh, the, definitely the hardest Dragon Quest boss, like, ever. Although I remember Dragon Quest IX's boss being tough, but I don't know, I might have just been like, underleveled. 
But that's very, uh, not typical of me. Like, I'm usually overleveled. So, I don't know. Alright. Let's see if anyone's close. He, he is not. She is not. And he is kind of. Holy boots. Um, so let's see what those do. Probably nothing like everything else in this goddamn fucking place. Oh, I can't even equip it. What? I can equip barrier stone? Ooh, 195. Let's do that. Um, PJ. Wait, Lynx. Lava ring. Isn't gonna do fuck all down here. So, nothing. Um, that just ups his magic. Hey, Tango, please don't do that. I don't want to take power ring off of her because it ups her. Yeah, let's just leave her as leave it as is. Is Titan Titanfall two? I heard it has like an actual like uh, single player campaign too, which I'm kind of excited to hear about because didn't the first one not at all? All right, Tango, don't drink my water though. Like I loves me, I loves me some fucking mechs, boys. All right, let's let's get one thing straight. You hear? Yeah, Titanfall Two has a single player, and that's all I'm playing on it. Yeah, that's all I would play too. That's good, man. Like, is it pretty lengthy, too? Like, usually, like, shooter-type games, they just, like, they're, like, three hours is a lot of plot. Because lol's multiplayer. Alright, let's get the runic armor. Oh, you don't know. Like, did you just start playing it, basically? Or, like, are you pretty deep into it, you feel? Um, uh, man, I don't wanna... No, if there's just one, we'll just we'll just punch him to death. Do you have monsters in your party, Met Man? And you said, uh, are you playing the Super Famicom version? You're about four missions deep. Oh, Tango. I don't know if you guys can even see Tango, but he's here. Man, he's getting old, man. He's like 11 years old now. My old ass cat. Ah, why'd you bite me, though? Sometimes when you, like, pet cats, you just get, like, overstimulated or something and freak the fuck out. The SNES version, so you haven't really bothered to get monsters, just the axe dinosaur they give you. Yeah. Is, is he in your party? In the DS version, I always went... Uh, oh, never mind. I never got monsters at all in the DS version. Um, I was thinking Dragon Quest V. I was, I was going to say, I always get the... Uh, I always get the Golem and the uh, Slime Knight. But on the PS2 version, I actually got the... You can have, like, a really big party. I, I had uh, the Golem, the Slime Knight, and then I had a, like, King Orc. Orc King or something. What are you doing, man? And, um, yeah, the Orc King was nice because he can learn Kazing. for the runic armor. Hey, don't drink my water, though. What'd I tell you? What'd I tell you, boy? Oh, shit. Sandor needs fucking heals. Bad. Dead, bitch. 
I heard in the SNES version they actually like tell you how to recruit monsters in that game. Because in the DS, when I played the DS version, which is the only version I ever played, I didn't even know you could recruit monsters in Dragon Quest VI. So yeah, I feel like I missed out on probably the only redeeming feature of Dragon Quest VI. What did you uh, think? What do you think of Dragon Quest VI so far? Is this your first time playing it? I'm assuming it's not. You know what? Let's just use items. Let's not risk. Can't recruit monsters in the DS version, as far as I remember. I think they took it out. Ah, oh, okay. Oh, okay. Well, that well, that explains why I couldn't fucking recruit monsters then, or didn't know anything about it. Oh yeah, absolutely. I, I think it's the worst one. Um, other than maybe the NES version of Dragon Quest 2. Like, Dragon Warrior 2 was pretty bad. Good enough. You still rank 1 and 2. What? No! Not 1. 1's a fucking... One's the best. I bet I bet Dragon Warrior 1 and Sonic the Hedgehog 2 are the two games I've played the most out of like any game ever. Like like the most times I've played through. I bet those are the I bet those are the games I've played more than any other game ever. What about you guys? Do you have games that you've just played like a million fucking times and you still go back and play? Final Fantasy IX would have to be up there too. And 8, but I, I, like I said, I never finished 8 until, like, on, until I streamed it. I would always just get to Ultimecia Castle and bail. Be like, fuck this shit, I'm out. Ooh, yes! Streets of Rage 1 would be like that for me too. Secret of Monkey Island. I was gonna stream that. Um, I was I was debating on whether or not I should stream that. Uh, quite a while ago, I was going through that personally, because I had a really big itch to to replay that one and LeChuck's Revenge. Those two are fucking amazing. It kind of goes kind of downhill from there, but the, I remember the third one being good too. Dude, I just realized that I was trying to equip the fucking this shit on my fucking head. Okay. Alright, let's, uh, where's the, uh, rune armor? Please don't be shit. And it's shit. Why is everything shit in this cave? Super Mario. See, I wasn't a big Mario RPG fan. But, yeah, Final Fantasy VI, I understand that. Streets of Rage 2, I understand. I've always preferred Streets of Rage 1, but that's just the one I had. I didn't have Streets of Rage 2, and I never played it until... Um, until it came out on like the PS3 and I was like dude I keep hearing it's so much better than the first one and then I played it and I was like I don't dislike this in fact I like it but it's pretty much the same as the first one and I'm just used to the first one so I've only probably played through Streets of Rage 2 like maybe two or three times I can't remember if me and Finny played through that like if we streamed that or not the second one I was, we always end up playing beat em up games whenever, <laughs> whenever Finny comes over, which is funny because when we first, when I first started like streaming and streaming with Finny, he, he like never really played a lot of beat em up games. So he was like really bad at them. But this past uh, Saturday when we were playing the double dragon co op, uh, beat em up games, um, like he's better at beat em ups than I am now. Most older co-op games were beat-em-ups. Yeah, that's true. Speaking of uh, co-op games, um, they are releasing that remake of Trials of Mana. That comes out, I think, next month. That would be cool to play through with Finny. But I, but Grenick was saying that it's the, rem the remake is only uh, single-player. 
So if it is, then uh, that that's uh, crappy as fuck, dude. But uh, that was like, like everybody says like, oh my god, Secret of Mana is great. But if you actually go back and play Secret of Mana, it's not very good. Like it's not a bad game, but it's not as good as you uh, remember it being. Mainly because the combat was clunky as fuck. But then you then if you play Trials of Mana or as as when I played it back in the day as like a fan translation, it was uh, Seiken Densetsu 3. Uh, that game's fucking amazing. That is like that is like the best um, like co-op RPG probably ever. I would say. I mean, there's not a lot of co-op RPGs, obviously, so it doesn't have a lot of fucking competition. But uh, it's fucking good. Unless you want to count like I know Final Fantasy IX let you control. Like, like, you could have it so your friend controls two of the characters and you control two or something like that. That was pretty weird. I know Fates played through, I think it was uh, Tales of Symphonia or something like that. That's kind of weird, though. Because you got one guy doing all the walking and stuff on the on the world map, and then, and then it splits into, like, two-player in battle, which is kind of weird. I never really... I used, I did it once, I think, with my friend Paul. We played Final Fantasy IX like that for, like, a little bit. But we didn't even get past... Um, we didn't even get past that one... Like, one of the first towns where they have the... Uh, the Black Mage factory underground. I can't remember the name of the town. But we didn't make it past that. That's true! That is true! Yeah, I never thought of it like that. The Tales games, it would be better. Because, yeah, it's an, it's more of an action... RPG. That's true. Okay. See, I've played... The only Tales game I've ever played, I think was Tales of Symphonia. I played a little bit of Fantasia. It was like a fan translation. And then I was like, this is just Star Ocean. But, um, I played... Fantasia, or Symphonia was the one I played the most. I never finished it. Um... I don't like... Like, this is going to sound dumb because I love JRPGs, like, but maybe you'll understand. I don't like the super fucking, like, anime-y, like, shit. You know what I mean? I don't know if you know what I mean, but... It's super fucking too much anime-y looking and, and stuff. Symphonia was novel for me and my brother due to the multiplayer aspect, but I don't think we even bothered to finish it together, just my brother did. Oh. Yeah, there's too much of that. I can't... There's like a line there, and I can't cross that line. So because of that, I've never played another uh, Tales game. And like, it was good. What I played, it was good. But it was just like too much of that shit. You cross that line regularly. <laughs> do you have a... Do you need a passport? <laughs> We should probably heal after this battle. Games that feel like good 90s anime are my wheelhouse when it comes... Yeah, but it, it's not even like... It's like not good 90s anime. It's like shitty modern like fan service-y anime. Oh god, this is bad. Ooh, I want to play the Wild Arms games eventually. I remember watching Finny play one of them. There's a lot of games that, there's a lot of like JRPGs where like I just watched my friends play. I don't know if, did anybody else do that? Like, like I remember Finny watched me play Final Fantasy X a lot. Like maybe we were just like shitty friends. So like, this is going to suck man. I should have saved before this, or uh, healed up before this. There we go. But like your friends come over and you just fucking play JRPGs. It's like, what? I didn't come here to watch you play video games, you stupid fuck. The PS2 was a treasure trove. In college, me and my friends would just set our TVs up and we'd all play a different JRPG. That's cool. See? Vinny? <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck! Oh, that's the best. That is fucking hilarious, dude. <laughs> I never even thought of it like that. 
but he's got a point. But that's what we would do, man. Like, I'd go over to Finney's and he'd play JRPGs. He'd come to my place, I'd play JRPGs. I'd go to Paul's place, my buddy Paul. I'd watch him play JRPGs. Like, we just did that all the time. Paul would come over to my place, he'd watch me play JRPGs. I don't know why. It was fun. I guess. I enjoyed it. I mean, I wouldn't have done it if I didn't. But looking back, I feel like, you know, maybe we could have been playing something else. It is! It is what we did! Bre Final Fantasy X, Wild Arms 3, Breath of Fire 5, Dark Chronicle. Dark, yeah, Dark Cloud 2, man. So good. Dark Cloud 2 is my biggest heartbreak. Oh yeah, every time we'd get drunk, we'd always play Gran Turismo 2. Because we'd be like, I'm going to prove that drinking and driving is okay. <laughs> and we'd be like, playing Gran Turismo, racing each other. Just riding, dragging along the walls. I forgot about that. Fuck. And me and Vinny played a lot of Bobble Bobble. Like, like, oh my god, did we play Bobble Bobble. Like, if you guys probably took all the amount, all the, if you took all the time, like, everybody else in this chat spent playing Bobble Bobble and combined it, it would probably be half the amount of time Finny and I played Bobble Bobble in our lives. You wouldn't trade your PS2 library for anything? See, I, I don't know. It's hard because... Arguably, like, the PS1 probably has. Like, if you could only have one console, and they only and it only played uh, the games that, like, it didn't have any backwards com compatibility, like, if you couldn't include that, but you could include ports, I think the PS1 stands, stands stronger. Ah, uh, Bubble Bobble. Don't, I can't do puzzle games, man. I'm dumb as shit. Although Puzzle Bobble is pretty fun. I do have, uh... Okay, is this the boss room? That's why I saved. I didn't know if this was the boss room. It's looking like a boss room. Yep, one con- Not exclusives only, but like... No backwards compatible stuff. This looks like a boss room, right? Does this- the, Hey, guys! <laughs> Does this look like a boss room? Oh my god, it's the fucking Vi armor! Shit! Okay, dude, that is the greatest thing ever. Okay. Your PS2 or your 3DS. But no backwards capability, so you can't play DS games on your 3DS. And you can't play PS1 games on your PS2. Alright, let's walk our way out. I just want to get another level before we fight that guy. And I want to I wanna get here with... With, actually, you know what? If we just grind here, although we might run out of healing items. So yeah, we should probably get the fuck out of here. I was going to say, if we just grind here, their stats will be maxed. Um, and then we can, uh, like if they level up, then we can uh, fight the boss. But I'll miss Final Fantasy Tactics, but that's still one game out of many great games. For me, it's probably the PS1. Because... Because, like, I'm including ports here. So, you got Chrono Trigger, you got Final Fantasy 4, you got Final Fantasy 5, Final Fantasy 6, you got Dragon Warrior 7. Um, you could, I don't know, can you cheat a little bit? Because uh, Dragon Quest 4 was remade on the PS1, but we never got it in North America. I love Dragon Quest 4, but uh, I don't know if we can count that. If I could play the PS1 portably, that'd be a strong... I mean, they did make that PS1. Remember the little PS... It was called the PS1, like O-U-N. And it had... You could get that little LCD screen that attached to the top of it. My, my uh, uncle had that. But yeah, there's so many good games on the PS1. So many good, like, RPGs and stuff. That's not the same. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, yeah. 
It's it's a tough choice. I agree, it's a tough choice. Cause PS2 had a lot of fucking good games too. But I could not I could not throw away Dragon Quest 7. As much as I love Rogue Galaxy and Dark Cloud 2 and honestly like Final Fantasy 10 is definitely growing on me. Um I can't throw away Dragon Warrior 7. I can't throw... I can't bring it in myself to throw away Final Fantasy 9. Final Fantasy 4. Like, these are all, like, my favorite games, pretty much. PS1 is com considerably less enticing. There's Final Fantasy Tactics. Then there's stuff like Crash Bandicoots and Legend of Gaia. Yeah, Legend of Gaia is good. Legend of Dragoon, too. Yeah, the good Mega Man X... Well, the only real good Mega Man X on PlayStation 1 was Mega Man X4, but... But, but, if you got your PS2, you'll have full access to Mega Man X7. <laughs> also, Mega Man Legends on PS1, that's like one of my favorite games, kind of. Kind of, because... I don't know if it's like being blinded by nostalgia like maybe it's not a good game <laughs> I love it but I don't know yeah that's true and I am including ports yeah yeah I think so right I think I think you're probably right there I still love it to this day so here's my thing. Here's why I think I'm blinded by nostalgia on that one. Um, because I played, I grew up playing uh, Mega Man Legends. Um, again, me and me and my friend Paul would play Mega Man Legends. Uh, I'd, we'd play it at his house. Like, he'd play it at his house. I'd play it at my house. Um, and basically, we loved it. It was, like, the best game ever for, like, a long time for us. And, uh... I didn't play, I've always wanted to play Mega Man Legends 2, because it's super rare, I never played it. Um, I had Misadventures of Tron Bon, and then, um, I streamed, when I was doing my Mega Man playthroughs, I streamed Mega Man Legends 2, and that was my first time ever playing it, and I didn't really like it, like, it was kind of crappy, I thought. And so, me thinking that... Uh, is why I think maybe I wouldn't like Mega Man Legends if I played it for the first time, like, now. Because 2 should be better. Like, I think I remember... I think I remember hearing people saying 2 is even better. But I didn't really like 2 when I played it. Does it? Oh, okay. So I'm not alone on that. I thought, may I thought maybe I was alone on that. And so I was just being blinded by nostalgia. We gotta be really careful here. Because if Lynx runs up, starts running too low on MP, we can't warp out of here without wasting an exit stone. Alright, let's get the fuck out of here, because it's getting scary. Out of Kazam! I think Legends won. Ew, no! That's wrong. You're wrong. Sorry. You're wrong on that one. The, the 64 version's, like, way worse. You like, you can't even like see anything. There's so much fog, man. And the controller, yeah, the controller is really bad too. But no, like, like if you look at gameplay from Mega Man, like you go to like catalogs, like the town, you can't even fucking see anything. It's just covered in like that mist. I remember my friend, <laughs> Because the, the 64 had, like, no fucking draw distance. It wasn't able to do any draw distance for whatever reason. And I remember my friend had it on 64. I was like, oh, dude. Like, because I didn't know it was just Mega Man Legends again. I thought it was, like, like a, a separate game that played like Mega Man Legends. And then, of course, now that we're out here, we start leveling up. What a crack of shit. Um, and then we th I threw it in and I was like, oh, this is just like a disgusting port of Mega Man Legends. What have they done to this game? You're in Marl, the shittiest town in fucking RPG history.
Yeah, because they called it Mega Man 64. Yeah, I know. Yeah, it's like... I was like, dude, what is this? This is gonna be good. I love Mega Man Legends, so... Why wouldn't I love fucking... This other one? Alright, let's just load up on these. Let's buy 5 million. 64 was so fucking bad for that. You know what I think is hilarious? Speaking of 64, because, like, they're so, they're so, uh, horny with their Doom releases lately, like, the past couple years. Doom has had, like, a nice resurgence. And they're, they're gonna be coming out, they're gonna be releasing, um, Doom 64 on the Switch, wait for it, wait for it, Xbox, and PS4. But it's still gonna be called Doom 64. I think that's kind of funny. Oh, I already went here. Alright, let's save. But yeah, so a Nintendo 64 game entitled Doom 64 is going to be playable on your PS4. I think that's kind of funny. Maybe it's just me. I think it's funny. Burp. Mercenaries. I'm going to let them battle. I'm going to grab another beer. Hold on. Oh, wait. This one's not even empty. Hold on. I don't know, man. I never played those ones. I only played. Uh, we'll get into we'll get into wrestling game talk. After I'm gonna let this fight fight happen, and then the next fight I'm gonna go grab another beer. But I only played the PlayStation uh, wrestling games. I played SmackDown and SmackDown Two, and then the first PS2 one. And I love SmackDown 2. I still have it to this day. But I played the N64 ones a little bit. Uh, one of my previous places I worked had a Nintendo 64 and a Super Nintendo in the staff room. And I played one of... I don't know if it was No Mercy or what it was. It was one of the 64 ones and I didn't like it at all. But I was used to the, I was used to the SmackDown ones. All right, I will be right back. Good job, guys! The the spirit, the spirit of Poddle protected us. Holy fuck! I just shot beer, everyone, er, er, everywhere. If you haven't yet, guys, be sure to take off your pants and crack open a beer ski in order to fully give in to the grind. You miss those days? Me too, man. I would. Me and my buddy Paul. I gotta have Paul on the stream one of these times, because I pretty much grew up with playing games with Paul my whole fucking life. Um, we, uh, I would, I would sleep over at his house, and we would play Smackdown 2, and what we would do is, uh, he would always have the, the heavyweight title. Oh my god, this is bad. Okay. Um, this is not good. Um, let's try running, but it could be very bad. No! Now we're in a worse situation. Alright. Ah, uh, let's just go AI. No, we shouldn't have done that, because then Sandor uses it. Fuck. Alright. We'll just let PJ do all the healing. At least they're attacking Sandor. Oh, I guess we could use these. Die, bitch! Oh, that did nothing. At all. We've definitely got a heal after this. 
Uh, but yeah, so I would have, I would have the, uh, there was like the light heavyweight title, Paul would have the heavyweight, but first we would always have, the, we would always get the tag team championship, we'd always make sure we got the tag team championship, um, and then, uh, we would hold every single belt, like, between me and him, we would have all the belts, and you could make your own pay-per-views, so, like, each pay-per-view took, like, took, like, five hours, because it was, uh, we had to defend, we were, like, every, every match on the card was, like, me or him was, was in it, and then what we would do, because you could just hit triangle to interfere in matches, and so, like, I would always interfere in his matches, and he would always interfere in mine, and, and it was just, like, we just did that all the time. It was awesome, but I think think if I went back and played it now it wouldn't be as awesome like it probably doesn't hold up that well um, that and the fact that I would have to like create all the characters and stuff like that you just held the tag belts yeah the real dream living the real dream is is having literally all the belts and then I think the the AI was or the thing was fucked so you could uh, you could hold the woman's title as well <laughs> I think I think I held the the women's title. Uh, I held the women's title, the the light heavyweight, and uh, the intercontinental, and he had the heavyweight and the European and the hardcore. <laughs> it was so dumb, but it was the best. And then the PS2 one, uh, you weren't allowed to do that anymore. So that was like the last one we played. The PS2 and you had like story mode and stuff, and it was it was like good and everything, um, but it took like I don't know if you guys remember, but the the really first like PS2 games, it took like I swear it took like 20 fucking minutes to save your game, so that was a big that was a big downer for it too, like, cause you have to save your game after like every match and every like decision you make pretty much. And it was just like nothing but loading, basically, and saving. It was so boring. I hated that. So that's why I never really bought another wrestling game until I think I got. I don't know if I have. I don't think I have any PS4 ones, but I had one on the PS3, and it was it was it was all right. But I do play a lot of UFC 3 when I'm just like looking for a fuck around game to kill time. Play a lot of UFC 3. Or is it UFC 2? I can't remember what the latest one is. But I kind of yeah when when on the, I think it was the PS3 uh, we were doing like the, the 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 wrestling game thing and then my buddy Paul got it and we were gonna play online and stuff and then it just kind of like fizzled out. We didn't end up, like, playing it all that much. Because we were planning on kind of doing the same thing that we hadn't done in, like, ten years. And we were going to try and do it again, but with, like, online and stuff. Hey, Logan. You saved my ass, by the way. I'm so glad you... So glad you gave me that fucking map, dude. This place is a maze, man. You made it just in time. We're actually going to go through and uh, fight the... We're going to go through and fight the boss. I actually have the map pulled up right now, so... So I can't actually see fuck all on the stream itself. Because I'm just looking at the map. But once I get to the... Once I get to the, the boss guy... Yeah. Yeah, this, this dungeon definitely needed a map. It's huge, but it's also, like, mazy as fuck. Like, it's not so much the size as it is the maziness. Oh, yeah. That was, like, I remember Dragon Warrior, like, Charlock Castle. That, that can be a nightmare, too. Like, until you remember that it's, like, a spiral, and if you just go in, go in, go in. I think that's how, uh... Dragon Warrior worked. 
It's almost like a swastika or some shit. I think. Okay, we gotta heal after this one because we don't want to waste battle turns uh, healing PJ with fucking brewskis. But I went in and I saw what's at the bottom of this cave. It's the god dang Vi armor, baby. So I'm pretty fucking excited for that. It's the fucking mech. It's a mobile suit. Any, any, like, any Gundam fans in the chat? I'm like a big ass Gundam fan, even though I'm like super behind. I gotta finish watching Gundam The Origin, and then I've gotta. Uh, there's like that, that uh, new Build Fighters one that isn't new anymore. That's apparently like based on like video games or something instead of just like Gunpla. And then there's a sequel to Gundam Unicorn now that I haven't watched any of. Yeah. But yeah, I'm pretty far behind. Right here, brother. I'll drink to that. Finny, what are you up to tonight, man? What you doing? You, Finny, you should finish fucking Dragon Warrior tonight. Everybody tell Finny uh, to finish Dragon Warrior. He's at the Dragon Lord. Finny's been at the Dragon Lord in uh, Brew Cracked and Pants Off, baby. Uh, he, Finny's been stuck at the Dragon Lord uh, for about uh, four months now. He's lacking uh, the confidence and the, uh, the uh, he doesn't have hurt more yet. So that's like a big thing. Yeah, there you go. See? Logan said. Logan said it, so you, now you have to. Crouch shot. I like how when she shoots her bow, it goes right into that gargoyle's dick. Right into his pee hole. Alright. Burp. Yeah, dude. Finny, you gotta finish the old D-dub. And then you can get into, like, the better ones. Exactly. He'll send, He'll even send you maps, Finny. <laughs> I think I have, I have Dragon Warrior 1 maps. Dragon Warrior 2, however. I told Finny to play the, the Super Famicom version of Dragon Warrior 2. I, I told him to play the NES version of Dragon Warrior because it's a classic, like, it's the first JRPG, and I feel it's something that you should play in its original format, but Dragon Quest 2 should definitely, if you want to enjoy it at all, should be played on the Super Famicom. And then Dragon Quest 3 is best played on the Super Famicom, but there's really no wrong way to play Dragon Quest 4, Dragon Quest 3. I feel like the NES version uh, plays just pretty much just as well as the, any of the others. It's just, it looks nicer on the, on the Super Famicom. Plus you got the extra job classes and stuff. Same with the Game Boy uh, color version or whatever. If it wasn't for that goddamn glitch I encountered when I was streaming uh, Dragon Quest 3, I would have played it on the. I would have played through it all on the Super Famicom. I have. Yeah, I have the 7 and 8 track guide as well. I have 1, 7, 8, and I have like. I think I have a Nintendo Power that has a good chunk of Dragon Quest 2 in it. Um, but I'd like to get a Dragon Quest 4 one. The other night I was actually looking online for the Dragon Quest 4 one, but it's like super fucking expensive. I was like, nah, I'm good.
It's crazy to think that, like, Dragon Quest IV was, like, an NES game. Like, obviously, graphically, it looks like a fucking NES game. Obviously. Um, shit, dude. I stopped looking at the map. Oh. I stopped looking at the map. The liquor's starting to get to me, boys. I just started fucking free wandering. Like it, Neb. Alright, so I know where we are, though. I was supposed to go around the other way. <laughs> Come in! I have the map fucking open right in front of me and everything. Oh well. More experience. <laughs> I need to shower, but I want to watch. Is it weird to watch you while I shower? Nah, dude. It's more. It, it's not even weird if I watch you while you shower. That's not even weird. <laughs> I'm definitely not responsible enough for brews on a Tuesday. Responsible enough? What? Ir more like irresponsible enough. <laughs> oh my god so i applied for a job at canada post uh like wh while i was unemployed obviously and i keep like there were no jobs no jobs and then like as soon as i found a, a job like a good job now i just keep getting these fucking emails that are like canada post is looking to hire you it's like dude where the fuck were you, like, three months ago? Alright, I'll Twitch stream it! You gotta do, uh, that's gotta be, like, a subscribers-only stream. That's like Fates always says that I have a subscribers-only Snapchat. <laughs> For shower streams. You have the original Secret of Mana guide, too. So, we were talking about that, because... Because uh, Trials of Mana, the remake, comes out. It's it's essentially the first time Seiken Densetsu 3 is going to be released in North America. And Seiken Densetsu 3 was about 50 million times better than Secret of Mana. And there's people that are going to be like, No, no, no. I remember Secret of Mana being good. But if you actually go back and play it, it's kind of shit. Like, the, the combat's really bad. Um, but Trials of Mana, on the other hand, is fucking amazing. But, I also heard that they took the multiplayer out of it in this remake, which would suck Mega Balls. But that game was amazing. Like, that was the best co-op fucking RPG ever. Ever made. It was also, like, one of the earliest fan translations in my, like, that I remember. That and, that and, uh, Final Fantasy V, those were, like, the, those were, like, the first, I think, fan translations I ever played. Besides all, like, the Dragon Ball Z games, but most of those were, like, fucking barely had any text anyways. Okay, let's start looking at the map here, boys. Yeah, like, even Fates, like, Fates streamed, uh, the Secret of Mana remake, and he was like, man, I didn't remember the combat being this bad. No, I never played them. I think they're gonna be, I think they'll be too, like, anime-y for me. I was talking about that earlier, too. Like, that's why I can't get into the Tales games. There's, like, a line there, and I can't cross it. I just can't do it. Yeah, I've heard nothing but good things about them, too. But they also have like that, um, like that, you know how like in the Persona games, which I also won't play because they're too maybe anime, um, they have like that, uh, school, high school simulator bullshit that I can't fucking wrap my head around as to why I would want to be involved in. <laughs> There's so many good fucking RPGs that I'm like, I'm like cucking myself out of, but... 
I just know that, like, I, I can't bring myself to do it. Same with, like, Disgaea. Like, I'm pretty sure I would like Disgaea. But it looks fucking... I, the, art, the art style really turns me off. You know what I mean? Okay. Persona 2 is great, not really anime at all. The school day stuff doesn't happen until 3. Ah, okay. Okay, well I'm glad that other people fucking understand where I'm coming from. Because I thought I was alone on that shit. Because I've told other people, like, ah, it's too much, like, anime. -y. And they're like, dude, you play fucking JRPGs. You, mor you absolute fucking moron. <laughs> what do you expect? It's like, uh, not that? Please? I expect this. Why? I'm loving this. I have so many, there's so many fucking great, uh, like, JRPGs that I'm, like, looking forward to that I'm playing fucking soon. Like, and that's the thing, I always, I always get caught up in that. I'm like, oh my god, I'm looking forward to playing the Lunar Games. Because now that I fucking, like, know about them, I, I, I'm hearing nothing but amazing things about them. And... I'm looking forward to Xenogears because I've never heard any other than the the fact that apparently like the second half of the game is like rushed as fuck. I haven't heard anything bad about the Xeno about Xenogears. Um and Mike Mike told me that Xenoblade Chronicles uh, or Xenoblade 2 is like one of his favorite games of all time. There's just so many goddamn fucking really good games that I'm going to be playing that I get caught up in like wanting to get to them and playing them instead of enjoying the game that I'm currently playing like that happens to me all the time uh to be fair this game is pretty much as close to as anime RPG as they could have made at the time it came out probably but it's not as bad as like the modern shit See, that's the thing, back in, like, the early to mid-90s, anime was good. Like, at least the stuff that made it here was. Now, anime is, like, bad. Like, like you'll get maybe .001% that's good. It's so bad now. And maybe it was always so, like, super bad, but because there was, like, that iron fucking curtain, basically, we didn't get anime here, so the stuff that made it here was, like, the fucking cream of the crop. But I don't know. Because fucking Inuyasha made it here. <laughs> oh, that's a fucking shitty show. Let me tell you, kids. Same goddamn thing happens every fucking episode. I've watched three episodes of Inuyasha. And it was the same episode basically three times. Uh, okay, um... Lunar games are amazing. Yeah, that's what I hear. Like, I'm hearing people saying that's, like, their favorite PS1 game of all time. Which is absurd, because Dragon Dragon Warrior 7 exists. You can pinpoint the exact moment the budget ran out. Really? Second half, they changed teams and ran out of money? Fuck me, guys. Oh, nice. You were right at the end. Wait, you went down. Saw the armor and ran away? Yeah, that's what I did. <laughs> I, I saw the armor, and then I was like, uh, let's... let's Let's leave, grab some healing items, and then come back and hopefully level up on our next trip. That's too bad about Xenogears, man. I mean, I don't know. I haven't experienced it yet, but that's the only thing I've heard bad. Vinny, have you played Xenogears, or that's just what you he heard? And, like, Xeno... I think the first game I played that was too fucking anime-y for me was fucking Xenosaga. Holy shit. That was too much. That was... Fuck that game, man. I played... I think I beat the first one. And then I was like, let's never do that again. And I like I liked the mechs and stuff, but... God damn, dude. Xenosaga is a movie with accidental... Yeah! There was like half-hour cutscenes. I remember one cutscene being like half an hour. I was like, the fuck is this? 
And I play Metal Gear for fuck's sakes. All right, let's let's do this, boys. We got this. We got this. Natural. My God, everyone is natural. We're gonna fucking die. <laughs> One step. Come on. I just fully healed and saved. You piece of shit. At least he's hitting Sandor. Please die. Whatever. Um, okay. Uh, that's what I heard. There's a podcast you listen to called Wizard and the Bruiser, and they, they deep dive into nerd stuff, and one episode was on Xenogears. Ah. Or I watched a couple of vids of it. Boss? Who said boss? I don't know. It looks like a boss. It looks like I'm going to have to fight things. Every dungeon ends in a boss, Logan. Jeez. Everyone knows that. There's not, like, random treasure over here, is there? Because that'd be great. But also, if I get an encounter, I'm going to be pissed off. <laughs> Might as well go all the way around. Maybe there's no encounters in here. Let's hope to fuck. There's no encounters. So, yeah, I walked into this room, and I was like, is this the bottom floor? And then I saw this, and I was like, oh, yeah, this looks like a bottom floor. And then I saw this, and then, uh, and then this happened. Uh-oh. All right, let's do it. This is it. The same armor we saw Sadul wearing three years ago. Then this is the legendary armor of Vi. You have the legendary armor of Vi. Holy shit, tits. Holy shit, nipples. We got the legendary armor of Vi, you guys. It's made from some material I've never seen before, but... There's nothing too extraordinary about it otherwise. I wonder if all the legends about it are just myths. No, right now it is just a very tough suit of armor. To witness its full power, we need to have all five orbs together at once. Then the controls inside will work. So where in the world did they hide the last orb? Fuck yeah, dudes! Um, is this, uh, there's nothing else in here, right? There's, there's not, there's nothing else in here. Can I equip it? As armor? I mean, it's a mech, isn't it? It's a Gundam! Oh, what? Oh, it's shitty, though. Why is it shitty? Don't be shitty. Hold on. Uh, hold on there, pal. Why is it shit? I tried. It was, it's not good. It's bad. Everything in this area has been bad. The town sold me bad items. The cave had bad items. Yeah, I'm guessing it'll be more powerful once I get the last orb. What if it's all what if it's always shit? What if Let's use uh, Finny's favorite Pokemon to get outside the cave. Yeah, that, yeah that's kind of what I figured, too. I'm missing the orb. So we'll go back to town. We'll heal. We'll load up on, uh, we'll load up on uh, strange brewskis. And then we will uh, head north, because that's really the only place to go. It looks like there's like a, either a city or a fortress of sorts to the north. It's like when you get a le legendary uh, shield in Dragon Quest after 40 hours, and it's worse than a prize in the casino. Yeah, but I grind hard to get those prizes. I uh, save scum. And then you get them. And then you are the best. And the, the Gringham Whip, baby! Alright. We have saved in the shittiest town in any RPG ever. Let's go here. Buy some more of these. Fuck. Can't shower. Shit's about to get real. Oh, now you're stressing, you're stressing me out again. I always do this. There, good enough. Okay. I get to write about, like... A hundred, hundred motherfucking G's, baby. 
All right, we're going north. Burp. Hey, what the hell? I leave town and this game's bad for that. <laughs> or you land on the town tile and you get a fucking random encounter. And then after battle, you're in town. There we go. Talk to the mayor first? Okay. Will do. Ding, ding, ding. I love the town. All the music in this game. Honestly, all the music in this game is good. But I do love the town music. Do, 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 do. He's gonna sell me out, isn't he? Otto, Prince Sandor! Have you heard why Giel has come here? He believes the Orb of Soul is here, hidden somewhere in Marwick Castle. You must stop him. If he finds the Orb, there's no telling what he might do. He may destroy it, ruining your chance to unseal the armor. Otto, we have to get over there immediately. There's no time to lose. Then what are we waiting for? Let's go! Okay. I'm assuming that's the place to the north. Let's sell our shit. We got like a lot of junk to sell. Let's sell the uh, Vi armor. Um, uh, let's hold on to that. We can get rid of this. This was like absolute shit. I'm pretty... Uh, shit, I don't know. We could sell the rune armor. It was the rune armor supposed to be absolute shit? Because I found it in that cave and it was garbage, dude. Just sell the Vi armor and the rune, rune uh, orbs really quick. Yeah. Same with Hellborn Axe. Like, this thing sucked ass. Why? I don't even know what those do. Holy fuck! Okay, maybe it shouldn't sell those. Maybe they're good. I don't know. But that was, uh, that was a lot of money, man. It's too late now. It's all gone. <laughs> Let me check if those are good. Yeah, they're gone. <laughs> and sold. To the lowest bidder. Alright, here we go. Mar is this Marwick Castle? Yep. Not a chance. Lock tight. And it won't budge an inch. Stand back. Cool. Fuck yeah, Otto. You sexy son of a bitch. After you. Just blew a fucking hole in that door. Uh oh. We got Emonies in here. Ass assin. Man, everybody's defense. Why are why are all the enemies' defense so fucking high? Am I about to get fucking wrecked? I'm just happy they're attacking Sandor. There we go. Shit! Part of me wants to use magic, but the other part of me wants to save it because I know there's going to be a boss fight. These guys look fucking weird. Like, what's up with their head? Is that a helmet or... The rune? Yeah, like, why? Why did it suck? The, everything in the whole area of this place. Malt, I think was the town name. Everything they sold sucked. Everything in that, in that fucking last dungeon was garbage. I don't know what those holy shoes do though. Those sell for like a billion dollars, so I'm assuming maybe they're good. Oh shit. Elite guard. Please die, kind sir. Holy shit. Holy fuck. And uh holy fuck. And uh 
this is not good. This is not good. Uh, let's maybe take it off auto battle. Warlock. Someone forgot to tell him that magic was for pussies. There are chests on the first floor you can miss if you don't get them before going to the top. In this place? Oh, shit. Should I be getting them? Is there good things in them? Dead, bitch. And am I past the first floor? Yeah, dude. The encounter rate seems a little higher here. Maybe I'm just crazy. Get them? I think I'm already on the second floor, hey? So should I go back? Okay. Do do. Holy shit, look at that guy! Heavy night. See how good that armor is when you're fucking getting electrocuted. Oh, wow, that guy ate shit from Lynx. Must be, uh. Oh no, I thought it was his wind elemental, maybe, but. Dude just has low de defense, finally. Oh, fuck. It's like a hard. It's hard to get them. Do they like upper defense at all? Because if they don't, then there's real no, really no point in getting them. Fuck, do you see that experience? God damn, dude. It really sucks having fucking three party members all the time. Look at all the fucking brewskis I go through. At least before I could use rat, uh, Rachel's fucking magic. A secret way. Ah, not a secret. Fuck. All right, this is this is a battle where it's actually gonna pay for me to use um, that that uh, stronger multi enemy thing. This is what I'm trying to say. Oh yeah, brother! Use Sandor's magic to heal. Oh, well, too late now. He just leveled up. Damn it. Start checking walls, Final Fantasy IV style. Holy fuck, dude. Dead bitch. 5,000 fucking experience. Fucking slap me sideways. That is a lot. Fuck, man. I can't wait till... I can't wait till you can buy items that fucking restore your magic. I cannot wait. Link's gay to level. Fucking rights he did. Alright. Just got the uh, world's longest hallway here. No big deal. Alright. We definitely need to speed kill these guys. Blitz. Bitch. Thousand. Alright. Here we go. Um... Doing the old wall check, Final Fantasy 4 style. I love how they like didn't bother to just cutting the corner off of that tile. So instead they made the corner look like the floor. Two more towns? Fuck, that's a long ways away. We're gonna have to come back here. This is a good fucking place to grind though. You just do this and get five grand. It's ridiculous, but I love it. Oh, I thought maybe that hole would have something to do with it. Is it? Is it in that? To the south there? Okay, we're not gonna waste magic on this guy.
Oh, I guess I don't need that map up anymore. I can see my stream again! Okay. Okay. <laughs> Maybe. Yeah, this is a great fucking place to level. I'm guessing once I finish this dungeon, I won't be able to come back here. So maybe I should grind here, like, make that, like, a bit of a priority. Oh, yeah, brother. Don't know where I'm going, but I'm going. But I'm getting there, I think. Might be going backwards. Watch these items. Are they fucking tricks? Are they glitches? Glitches and hoes? Like, this game loves to fuck you over with treasure and stuff. It's like, here's a treasure chest. It sucked off all your gold. Here's a store with really expensive items. They're all shit. Die, you skitter pod fuck. <coughs> Our health is getting low. <laughs> Alright, let's, uh, yeah, let's use some of Sandor's magic. Why not, I would? Whoops, fuck. Um... Good enough. Dude, I think I'm going backwards. I think I'm going backwards. Alright. Attack advantage. Fuck yeah! Ooh, the double! Let's kill that one, then. Let's insta-kill that guy. And just beat up this guy, because he got the double. I'm starting to think that the, there we go, the spell on that guy was a waste because we do high damage to him anyways. But it looks like I'm going back up. Looks like I'm going back like outside. I don't know, we can check. But it looks like I'm going back to where we like came from. Does it not? That god dang encounter rate! The encounter rate's pretty ridiculous in this place. Uh, Blitz. Dead. Oh no, we're definitely going the right way still. Ah, here we are. Alright. Nice, the dubs. Let's go AI for this fight since we got the double. Holy fuck, that guy's strong. I think I'm gonna warp out of here and then just come back. And then just have PJ use like insta kill moves. I am. Dead bitch. Oh, now? Yes. All this for a puppy's kiss? No! But no! Okay, hold on, let's save, because I don't fucking trust anything in this game. We got a Bashy's flute. Ah, you fucking. The encounter rate is so high! Uh, die, please. Why are you so high, man? This place definitely has the highest encounter rate out of any other place in the game so far. I would have to say.
Oh no, Lynx is dead. Fuck. Uh, right. They start with one hit point after they die. That's good at least. I want to at least get the fucking treasure. Mega Spark, Puppies Dance, Stardust, Static Sling, Goddesses Love, Fairy Cloud. So what? There's like 50 billion exits here. We gotta just come back. I can't do it. Oh shit. Medusa could really end us. Nice, the double attack. Please die. Thank you. So where do those fucking paths lead to? There's like 90 fucking paths. Oh my god. Do we get a do we get a fourth character soon? Cuz that's really what's making this so hard. Cuz before I could I could rely on Sandor and Rachel's, uh... Oh, fuck. Magic. To heal. But, uh... Not anymore. We're down to one. Pretty, pretty soon, kinda. All right, let's save here. Let's get going. So normally I would end the stream in 10 minutes from now, but fuck it. But fuck it. By the way, folks, if you haven't yet, please give me a follow here on Twitch. Twitch.tv slash Duke03. Click that heart. Show me some love, baby. Give me one step closer to that Chrono Trigger goal. You can also uh, check out my YouTube channel, youtube.com slash 2 3 for all my past streams and of course my top 10 videos, like my uh, uh, my top 10 um, places I got stuck in video games video and uh, top 10 games of the decade and all that fun shit, uh, youtube.com slash 2 3 Like and follow me on Facebook to be notified of what? And when I'll be streaming next, facebook.com slash dukey03. But of course, the best place to stay in touch is the motherfucking Discord. So click those links, baby. Audio out of sync? I hope not. I fucking hope not. It might just be you. Because last time, last time uh, I was told the audio I was saying out of sync, I tried to fix it. And then it just made it worse. Yeah, just do a refresh. I think if you hit the subscribe button, it'll fix it. Just try that. That guy looks cool. Oh, is that a sink? Um, let me check. Um, usually I go filters. Can't remember if it's my cam I usually put a filter on, or if it is, uh, yeah, I don't really want to fuck around with it. Is it quite a bit? Because here's the thing, if I fix it, next time I stream, it'll be, uh, next time I stream, it'll, I'll have to, like, put it back to what it is now because I've had to do that before um, I'll just go one two three one two three let me know blitz do 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 Is the is my voice going before the webcam? 
Because if it is, then I know what to do. I just gotta take that thousand down to one, or down to zero. But then I have to remember to turn it back up to a thousand next time. Voice before cam, yeah. So I always have a delay, uh, I always have a delay on my cam, um, but you guys have to remember that it's it's uh, set to a thousand, because I gotta reset it back to a thousand. Is it good now? Uh, one, two, three. Blitz, baby! No. Is it worse? <laughs> it shouldn't be worse. So I'll set it back. I'll set it back. And then tell me if it fixed it. Oops, not properties, my bad. I gotta go to filters, back to a thousand. Close. Alright. One, two, three. One, two, three. Yeah, see? I that happened once before. So this is literally what my settings were on before I touched anything. I don't know why it does that sometimes. I think it just like drops my filter every now and then so then I have to just like refresh it. It happens like once a year. Fuck! Oh, you're right, Vilkus. Vilkus will heal. This guy does ridiculous amounts of damage. Please don't do that, you fucking moron. Now we, now she might die again. That guy is the worst. Uh, let's just use uh, shock on him. Oh my god, still not dead. There we go. Link's gained a level. Okay, let's use Sandor's shit. Dude has a lot of magic. Good enough. I mean, perfect. Okay, okay, where, which hole do I go in though? There's like eight fucking holes. Which one, Logan? Which one? I think there's three of them here. Let's save, by the way. We made it all this way. Might as well save. Do it better, man. It's probably like shit. Which one? This one? Okay. Fuck. Cock sucking. Uh, how about die? There we go. Sandor gained a level. Nice. I wanted to be level 45. Do, 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 do. Oh my god, this is so mazy. This guy does the most fucking damage. But also takes the most damage, but I think he's got a lot of hit points too, though. He's pretty rough, to be honest. Back F. And that big mech bastard. Nice! Nice! 
Is there any other treasure in this castle, or pretty much it's all on this first floor here? Also, how many floors is the damn thing? Oh my god. Do I have to wrap around it? <laughs> oh my god. That's the chest though, okay. Fuck. Oh nice, the dubs. Nice. Five fucking grand. You think there's four? Uh oh. Come on, man. Why you gotta wrap around so much? Holy fuck! I'm probably gonna have to call it a stream after I get after I get this last treasure here. So then on Thursday night, we'll definitely we'll be able to go through here and uh, beat this castle. I'm pretty sure. Wow, if this isn't the most spirally shit. Alright, let's get that guy for whatever reason. And light him up! It is a good place to grind, though. Dude! I went nowhere! Alright, let's try this one. It's gotta be this one. We could probably punch our way through this fight. That's all right. We need the we need the experience anyways. The amount of experience we get in here is fucking great, so All right, please fucking be the one. Uh-oh. Should have healed Lynx. I never notice that shit until it's too goddamn late. Uh-oh, he's dead. He's fucking dead! Burp. Newman! Wait, let's use Restore. Oh, what? That heals everybody! Oh, what? Like, big time heals everybody, except Sandor for whatever reason. That's a fucking good spell. Why wasn't I using that? Sometimes I am an idiot. Let's see how much MP that costs. 240? Oh, it's, it's a good chunk. It's like 80. But fuck, that's a lot of health, man. That's true. Dude, where am I going? Oh yeah, this is the one, okay. Don't trust anything, so let's save. Phoenix Heart. Alright, that was like a that's like a mega elixir basically. So that's good to have. Although I'll probably never use it because I'm always too afraid to. Alright. Where does this take me, I wonder? Yeah, that's nice, because it heal I think it, it heals everybody. Uh-oh. It doesn't matter! What? Restore does? It heals MP? I don't know about that. I mean, I'll check it. I'll definitely, uh, because I gotta grind anyways. Holy fuck, man. Look at Sandor's fucking 
Total health. I don't know where this is taking me. I just took this random fucking path. Probably shouldn't have. Dead bitch is. Oh, the item I got. Yeah, it's like a mega elixir. Guys, it was a dead end. I saw that coming. Dead bitch. I mean, really, we're just grinding until until we use uh, Alakazam anyways, so. It's not the biggest of deals. Uh-oh. Just warp out. Alright, hopefully Lynx goes next. Do 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 do. Alright. Yeah, I'll warp out once uh once PJ runs out of magic. The top of the Oh yeah, I imagine I imagine shit's gonna go down. Once we get to the end of this castle. Because didn't they say the last soul stone was in here? Like, no spoilers, but I'm pretty sure that's what they said. So, I should be able to awaken the Vi armor. I will awaken Vi. I'm just roaming around in the dark hallways. The dark nothingness of my soul. Dead bitch. But yeah, I'll be back on uh, Thursday. Same bat time, same bat channel. Ooh, I haven't ran into these guys in a long time. Fuck. This was all I was running into when I first got here, and now I like, never run into them. This fucking game sure knows how to spiral around places. I feel like as much as I level up, I'm not actually gaining any strength against these guys, though. Just, their defense is incredibly high. B D. Ba ba dee doo dee dee dee. Nice, this is 5,000 experience right here, boys. Oh no! We're gonna have a bad time. Shit! Uh oh! No, this isn't happening! There's no reason for me to go on. What? What am I fighting for? I guess I could have tried Malibu. Dropped a meatball. I don't know. Is your floor like absolutely disgusting? Are there pubes on the meatball? That's what it comes. That's what it's really coming down to. For me, anyways. That's. Holy shit! I could just be using my trash fucking magic spells, apparently, and doing the exact same amount of damage. Uh oh! That Newman might have, uh. Let's get rid of that. That Newman might have made it so I can't use, uh, Alakazam. Hey man. Hey man, I don't know what you do in the kitchen. Oh. Oh, two cats, yeah. Uh. I got two cats too. I wouldn't eat it personally, but, uh. I also, uh. Don't feel like dying tonight. Um. Yes, we have just enough. Can't tell if it's their hair or pubes. Do you have any... <laughs> do you have a cat... Do your cats both have black curly hairs that get caught in your throat? Not that I would know. <laughs> Alright guys, we're gonna call it a stream here. Tonight! Can't... 
It was delicious. Okay, well, I mean, as long as it tasted good. We're going to call it a stream here. Uh, again, if you guys haven't, please give me a follow here on Twitch. Twitch.tv slash Dookie03. Click that heart. Show me some love. Get me one step closer to that Chrono Trigger goal. You can also uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel and check out all my past streams. And, of course, my top ten videos at uh, YouTube.com slash Dookie03. Hey, that's the same as my cats. One's orange and the other is black. Um, you can also uh, like and follow me on Facebook to be notified of what and when I'll be streaming next. Facebook.com slash Dookie03. And of course, the best place to stay in touch is the motherfucking Discord. So I'll see you fine fucks Thursday night. And then um, I don't know if I'll be doing Friday night. I really want to get working hard on my uh, next top 10. I haven't, I've got like the script and stuff done up, but I, I really want to try and get that one done. So I'm probably not going to be able to stream Friday night. I'll probably be working on that. And then uh, I'll be back probably Saturday morning with some Mega Man Battle Network 3. And then, of course, Sunday night back with some more Vi. You guys have a fantastic uh, Wednesday and a fantastic rest of your night. And I will see you fine fucks on Thursday. If you have a rough couple of next days, I'll do my best to bring it all back to you on Thursday night. See ya!